All right, today we're gonna to continue work on the fender. Hopefully we're gonna have it welded up and ready to go. Pew pew. I went ahead and cut out the additional bit of the fender so that way I could lay it up right up against the new arch that I cut out of that front part of the uh, outer arch. I will tell you that I cut off a bit too much and ended up having to make up the difference with the welds. So quite a bit of welding that went on. I probably shouldn't have trimmed quite as much from here, but all in all, it didn't go really poorly and everything's fitting and finishing just fine. The metal was very, very thin on the back of the car, so I actually ended up having to sort of, um, like even the spot welder seemed like it was gonna burn through pretty quickly. That being said, something I didn't notice whenever I was doing this is whenever I shut the trunk all the way, I still have quite a large gap at the upper portion here, which I'll mark with the arrow, that I'll have to figure out how to close at some point in time. It will not be today, nor will it be in the next little bit. I'm actually going to move on to the other side of the car and then I'll come back and try to figure out how I close that gap. But that is sort of what I do for the rest of this video is just a lot of make sure things are lining up just right and then welding them on. I did a pretty good job and I was very happy with the way that the welds went all the way up the fender and I was able to keep the heat out of the pieces themselves so I didn't have a whole bunch of warping in the panel itself. But that's about all the voiceover I'm going to do for this video. It is June 27th for me right now and I shot this video in April. So a lot of time has taken, has gone by since I took this video uh, and I think the work sort of works or speaks for itself. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll be uh, uploading more videos. I have just been working a ton on Danielle's car.
video, you saw me go ahead and stitch weld up this entire rear quarter and uh, bring it all the way down to the arch. You all saw me t tack weld in the arch as well as the back piece of the rear quarter. I also stitch welded in the front of the quarter that I uh, cut for a relief so I could move that panel away. Let's go over the panel and sort of talk about the things that have happened so far. All right, some things to note that are wrong right away. This supersonic line doesn't line up exactly uh, along with the bottom. Uh, this piece is actually a different width than the original fender, which I'll be able to fix uh, just by a long cut here and then laying it over and stitch welding it together. I don't really, I'm not super worried about that. The other thing that you'll see around here that I'm actually very proud of is as I welded this panel on, I kept making sure that the panel was cool all around and I really feel like I didn't have a whole bunch of of deformation of this panel and some of the things that people worry about which is like the tin can effect or the oil can effect I, I can't find that anywhere and I'm really glad about that so to the rest of the video we're gonna go ahead and finish this weld all around the arch and probably use the grinder to clean up some of these welds oh yeah and uh, Danielle's hanging out with me in the garage tonight um, so let's get to it all right, so I've got this piece welded up. I'm pretty sure there are quite a few holes in there. I had a fairly large space between the quarter and the arch, so I had to fill that with weld. Not a pretty uh, weld, I know that. Uh, definitely not as good as the welds over here. Uh, but again, so much more solid than it was. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the grinder and start clearing all this back and see what I need to retouch with the welder. Alright, so a solid hour of work with the grinder and then a little sanding. Um, you can see a nice dimple um, sort of where this is at as you sort of walk the, the light source across that. But um, not terrible. I think a light skim of Bondo will help clear that up. There's a few spots right here where I figured I would need to redo it and sure enough, um, specifically right there, and right there it's low enough that I'm gonna need to go back in and do that this whole arch is pretty wavy so I'll have to go back in and um, finish this off again but not surprising in the fact that I built this but again not terrible Let's see what the other side sounds like that sounds pretty good too So yeah, um, this line actually came out a little bit closer to where it was supposed to be at than I thought it was going to. Um, this whole portion is sort of sunk in a little bit, but uh, the overall, just like this whole area, I'm actually it turned out, it's not perfect. I'll be honest, like, I get it, it's not perfect. Um, and I've never claimed to be a guy that should start his own restoration shop. 
but the fact that this car is now in a much more solid state back here, I'm very happy with. I've got to go back through and fix all these little pinholes along the way with the welder and then grind it down one more time, go from there. But I'm going to go ahead and pause for the last of my day. Yep. Um, this will definitely need, I mean, I can just feel all the different welds in here, so this will have to be all smoothed up. So I'll have to take care of that as well. But actually, not bad. I don't. I, I'm pretty okay with that. That arch. I think it's pretty reasonable. More sanding, more grinding. GoPro stop. GoPro stop. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the subscribe button. That subscribe button lets me know that I'm doing good work. Like, Also, don't forget to set up your notifications so that way it'll notify you whenever I post a new video. Over here, you're going to see my newest video. And then, finally, um, over here is what YouTube suggests should be the next video in this series. I've got all my videos set up in different playlists, so you should be able to see and track and follow whichever projects you feel like. Thank you for watching. Get out there and work on your car, and God bless.